So this is a restaurant quality stir fry with the uh, beef and bok choy. So the bok choy is nice and crisp and you have the beef really tender because we use the velveting technique. The beef is tender. You gotta try this. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. I'm using a sirloin tip for the beef. So this is triple A Angus beef, it's fairly good uh, beef. So you can use different kind of beef for stir fry, put it on everything. So flank steak is um, a lean cut. So sirloin, it's uh, lots of flavor and uh, you probably don't have to marinate if you use just the top sirloin. So this is the sirloin tip. It's the best of the round steak. It's part of the, the, the rump, the back part of the, uh, the, the cow. But uh, you can pretty well use any kind of cut. So this is a nice piece of uh, sirloin uh, tip. So if you want to cut it like this, just in half. Lengthwise, cut it half lengthwise. And then you just cut the beef like this. So slight angle if you want. So what you do is you um, marinate the, the whole sirloin tip. And then you can use it during the course of the week for different dishes. So I'm just going to marinate the uh, beef. So there's uh, maybe a pound here. So we're not going to use the whole thing, but I'm going to marinate it anyway. So I might have a sandwich tomorrow. So this is a good brand. Uh, this is the uh, Kingsford brand. Uh, pretty famous in Hong Kong. People in Hong Kong buy it a lot, so I use this brand. I've been using this for the last few years. So I'm going to put some uh, dark soy sauce, just a little bit, just a teaspoon, just for darker color. So dark soy sauce is for color, it's a sweet soy sauce. So this is the uh, light soy sauce. So I'm going to put about uh, three or four tablespoons. Normally I don't put the uh, oyster flavor sauce for marinade. I usually use it as a dipping sauce. But I'm going to put a tablespoon in there just because I like oyster flavor sauce. So then you put the peanut oil or any kind of cooking oil. So put about uh, three or four tablespoons of cooking oil in there. This is Shaoxing cooking wine. It's uh, good for marinade. It gives it lots of flavor. You can put this in. That's an option. So it's good to marinate your beef or meat or chicken or whatever. Any kind of meat uh, marinate overnight. But if you don't uh, have time, just marinate for at least an hour if you have time. If not, you can just... Uh, stir-fry right away. So this is called velveting. So this will add a nice coating of cornstarch around the meat and uh, it will tenderize the meat at the same time. So it will lock in all the flavor from the sauces as well. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. So I got the wok uh, preheated at uh, medium to medium high. So I'm going to put about uh, three tablespoons of cooking oil in here. Put about a tablespoon of chopped ginger and garlic. So what I do next is just put the... Uh, put the... Uh, Bok choy, you can use other kind of veggies, you can use the Shanghai bok choy, you can use the Gai Lan, uh, Chinese broccoli, whatever you like. So get a, get a good uh, wok haze in the veggies here. When you hear a good sizzling, that means the wok is uh, properly heated. So you see all the uh, sear marks here, right? Nice sear marks, that means you got uh, some wok hay going. Wok hay is when you sear the veggies in a carbon steel wok or 
any kind of wok, you get that uh, seared flavor. That's called wok hay, the breath of the wok. So now I'm just going to put some uh, salt. I have the uh, natural sea salt. I'm just going to put about half a teaspoon in there. If you uh, want to omit it, that's fine. So I'm going to put in uh, some uh, regular soy sauce, also known as light soy sauce. Put a couple of tablespoons in there. So this is the uh, oyster flavor sauce. This is different from the one I usually use. This is the uh, Panda brand. It's also made by Lee Kum Kee. So this is uh, more for cooking. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper. There's less oyster extract in it. Uh, still pretty good tasting sauce, but if you want to save half the price of the regular uh, Lee Kum Kee oyster sauce, you buy this brand uh, with the uh, Panda brand. Still pretty good uh, oyster sauce. Give it a final stir fry. That's a good one. Hey, go on. There we go. There we go. So I'm just gonna put the uh, stir fry bok choy on a plate here. I have a pretty large plate here, so just uh, spread it out a little bit there like that. So we're just gonna rinse out the wok. I use this uh, wok tool. It's a bamboo brush. So you can check on my uh, Chinese cooking guide. So just check in the description below my video, so you you can buy this uh, this uh, bamboo wok brush. We're just gonna put a little bit of uh, cooking oil there. So put about a tablespoon in there. So I'm just gonna wipe this uh, wok down with with a paper napkin. Uh, this uh, reseasons the uh, wok. So I'll let the uh, wok heat up again at uh, medium to medium high. So once again, uh, I'm going to put about three tablespoons of cooking oil here. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of uh, chopped garlic, a teaspoon of chopped uh, ginger, put that in. So now I'm just going to give it a quick stir fry. So now I'm going to turn the heat on to high. So this is the beef that I marinated yesterday with the cornstarch and the different uh, ingredients. I have about six ounces of uh, beef here. You need anywhere from uh, four to six. Although some Chinese restaurants, you only put in uh, two or three ounces. But since you're cooking and since you're eating, do whatever you want. Put more beef if you want, or less if you want. So I've got the heat on high, just gonna let it sear for, for a few seconds there. So now we're just going to turn the beef over. So the beef has marinated. The beef has been marinating for overnight, so it's really tender. So you don't want to overcook the beef, though. You can uh, cook it, let's say, medium to medium well. You can cook it well done too, if you like. So now I'm just going to put a bit of salt in there. Once again, it's the uh, sea salt, the natural salt. You don't want to put salt if you don't want to. If you don't want to have too much salt, I put a little bit in there just to flavor. And I'm going to put some more of this light soy sauce. A couple of tablespoons. And so if you have some uh, Shaoxing cooking wine, it has terrific flavor. So I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons in there. And then you put some of this uh, oyster flavor sauce. So this is a cooking one, the half price of the other one. So this is more for cooking or it's a less expensive for half price, so it's still pretty good uh, oyster flavor sauce. With the hot oil. So now we're just going to take it off. So just put the beef on top. I like it with the hot oil like this. This is pretty simple, but it's uh, the way I like it. You can make a sauce with it too, but I mean, to me, this is the way to go. So this is restaurant quality, you got the, the beef that has been uh, what they call velvet. So there you have it, beef and bok choy, stir fry, well that's a wok, hey, enjoy. This uh, dish, if you serve it in a restaurant, it would be about 20 to 25 dollars Canadian. You can make it for 20% of that, so about 4 or 5 dollars tops, even less. Mmm, that's good. Cool. Mm. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like and subscribe. Any comments are always welcome. 
Take care and stay safe. Thank you.